Well, good morning. Thank you for joining me. We're going to carry on going back to what I said we were going to do about giving back to businesses, about giving you the tools. It's going to go carry on with the books I've done. I've done the books on top tips for business branding, top tips for business communication, for putting your message across social networking and YouTubes and stuff like that. Branding, customer care and all the rest of it. They're top tip books. And this is what it's about. At the end of the day, I'm seeing more and more businesses struggle and more and more businesses not grow and more and more businesses stagnate. Now, so hence, this is the top tip books. But anyway, let's come back right back to the basics. The book I'm writing at the moment, The Five Key Points of Business. Who are you? What are you? What you do? Who you do it for? And your legacy. Now, while we've been doing that, we've created another book. And the book is Business Baby. And you hear me talk a lot about the business as your baby. Well, there's various steps that we've spoken about as a baby. We've got the baby, we've got the toddler, we've got the child, we've got the kind of adolescent teenage years, we've got the young adult, and then we've got the adult moving away. So we've got steps on its circle of life, its lifestyle. And the same we have with your business. Now, this is a quick video I want to touch back on, so some of you probably won't relate to this, but some of you will. The business idea, the embryo, the incubator stage, I suppose you'd call it, the nine months, the gestation of the baby, your idea. Now, the bonus with your idea, and as your business comes into the world, what have you done? What have you done for the foundations, the preparations? And you're going to go, what do you mean? Well, let's take it back to a baby. When you know you're having a baby, it's fairly obvious there's a bump. And you start having a little nursery room and it might be blue or it might be pink or it might be whatever colours. But you've started the preparations. You kind of know what's going to happen. And if you don't know what's going to happen, look around you, there's plenty of parents. Same with your business. Now, let's look at this fundamentally. You've got this idea in your head. You want to do something different, be better, or you're going to create something new off of an old idea, as it were. Gestation period, nine months of thinking about it, adding colours to it, thinking about the name, thinking about the brand, the image, the logo. But the same as you've got as a parent, you can look around and see other parents. As a new business owner, you can look around at the business sector you're going to be in and you can go, what are they doing? How are they doing it? What colours are they using? How do I stand out? How do I market myself? How do I become different? How do I become unique? Very simple, but at the end of the day, it comes back to you. To start off with, you're very intimate with the baby, you're very intimate with growing it and it's connecting. And we get that, and later on we add other people in, but we get all that. So your business, do you understand the colours of your business? Do you understand that where your business is going to be? What your business is going to do? The target of the customers you're going to aim to? Your pricing structure? How you're going to grow? Now, you've seen recently I did a little snakes and ladders board. Well, that's basically the same with your business. Understanding where you want to be, square 100. What is the, not the end goal, but what is the five-year plan, the three-year plan, the one-year plan, the six-month plan? And understand the little journey that you're taking. You'll have good days and you'll have bad days. But if you haven't got it planned out, and this is what my coaching friends do when we've got a coaching head on we sit down and we put steps in place and we plan it and we go is this important is this urgent is this critical is this whatever we do and we start putting and guiding you in a way consultants come later on because obviously we come in and make things happen now let's go back to the baby your business is your idea you let it grow Circle of life, and the reason I use the circle of life is I talk with farmers about diversification. And I say, what are your plan? And three to five years, we plant this year for the soil to come up, and that's our crop. And then what we do is we redo the soil, we re-fertilize the soil, ready for year three. So we're constantly on a three year cycle with our land, with our moving, whether we've got horses, whether we've got this particular soil, this particular soil, we need to do the new. So they're on a three year plan. So the diversification they've got to do is based over three years as to when those fields become ready. So this is what I'm asking you of your business, your business baby. Have you got a plan? And you're going to go, yeah, of course I have. No, no, no. Have you got a real plan? 
This is a real plan of where you're going, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. Do you understand the social media? Do you understand when you step out the colours you wear? The way you come across, your smile, your handshake is all relevant at that time to that business. The business that you're growing, the business that you're putting out. And you're going to go, well, hang on a minute. Well, this is where your ideas are. This is where your mindset is. Later on, we're going to talk about corridor conversations, which is your pitch. How you're going to talk about your business, how you're going to set your stall out, how you're going to set your business out. But please bear in mind, use my farming friends. They plant a seed for growth in a year's time. They water it, they nurture it, and they let it grow. Same with your business. You've planted the seed, the little embryo, nine months later you have a child. Your business, you start planting it, you start nurturing it, you start caring for it, you start talking about it. You start educating yourself on where you're going to be, what you're going to do, the customers you want. And when that business is there, you've then already got your route to market, as it would be for my farming friends. But the corridor conversation, what do you do, how do you do it, why do you do it, who do you do it for? Walking down a corridor, somebody says, what do you do? You've got to be able to answer them and you've got to be able to niche it. You've got to be able to pinpoint. You've got to be aimed for that target on that board. This is my customer. This is what I want. This is my perfect customer. That's where I'm aiming for all the time. Dartboard on a wall. You're aiming for the top score. It doesn't matter. You, if you hit the board, you hit the board. But you've got to hit the board. You've got to aim for something. And this is where it comes down to. So think about this as your business. Think about your pitch. Think about your conversation. Think about your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, your whatever. Does it all reflect on the business? Does it put it back to the business? What your business is, what your business does, and who it does it for. Please bear that in mind. If you need to know a little bit more, we're going to develop this. But this is your business baby, understanding the nine months incubator period, the nine months gestation, the nine months of bringing yourself together, understanding the colours, the target, the customers, the pricing, everything else that comes together. Look at other sectors as you go forward with this business. At the moment, you are the ship's engine room, the ship's captain, the ship's cook. You're going forward, you're everything. But understand that you're everything and look at what you're doing, how you do it, the way you do it. Who are you, what are you, what do you do, who do you do it for, and your legacy. We'll come to that. Understand your business is your baby. You're going to nurture it and you're going to grow it. There's plenty of other businesses to look at. There's plenty of other colours you need to understand. And understanding the colours of the business, understanding how you're going to move forward, what your niche is, what your target is, what do you do, what is your pitch. When somebody says to you, what do you do? This is what you say. This is your answer. This is your response. You understand it. You know it. You you brought it up for nine months or ten months or however long this idea has been coming. You are, at the moment, the business. And later on we talk about how you distance yourself from that and let the business grow and flourish. But just bear that in mind. You are the business at baby stage. You're doing everything for it. But you need to have year one, year two, year three, year five, year ten. Understanding your journey. Understanding where you're going to go. The colours the conversation, the communication, the brand, the image, the customer expectation and the customer experience, the customers you're targeting. Understanding all of that will put you in a good foundation. And with a good foundation, you build the layers up. But anyway, have a good week. If you want to talk to me, come back and send me a message and we'll see how we build your business up for where it needs to be.